All right, guys, so today we're gonna to be talking clear coats, and uh, I've been spraying that 2021 now for about three weeks, and I'm finding out that it likes to micro pop if you use the 95 uh, reducer in it. So that 2021 has one harder, and then you can adjust it by the reducers that you have. So we've sprayed some parts here with the 8150 that I was telling you guys about, and this is a really nice clear it's a performance glamour clear. And this one here was sprayed last night. It's got a nice, real good gloss to it. And this one here actually allows you to change the hardener and the reducer. So you can really fine tune a clear whenever you have the capabilities of changing the hardener and the reducer, not just the reducer. So I like a clear that you can adjust and really get it fine tuned for what you're doing because each booth and each temperature and each gun and each application is different from painter to painter and place to place. So once you find the sweet spot for your clear, you'll really get the maximum gloss and you won't have any issues. So we were spraying the 2021 with the 95 reducer and we were getting some micro pop on it. So I reached out to a, a painter that I know that's spraying the 2021 and really gets a nice job. And he was telling me do not use the 95 in it. You want to use that 98. So we're going to shoot a Tesla today and uh, use the 98 and see what we get for results in it. So let's do it. So this is the job. We got two quarter blends down the rockers. And then we have a new trunk and a bumper for this. That was a repair on this vehicle here. So we're also squeezing in one more little bumper job. That way we, we uh, get as much in here as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and seal and base this. And then I'm going to bring you guys back in for the clear and show you some of the clear that we have here and what I've been doing here lately now that I'm getting this uh, clear figured out a little bit. So let's do that. All right, so here's the clears we're using at the moment at this shop here. We have a speed clear, which is a 2042. And then they had the 2021. So I had them uh, pick up some of the 8150 to try it out. It's a little bit faster, just a little bit faster than the 2021. And uh, it's a nice clear. So that was what we showed you on those bumpers uh, earlier in the video. So they really look nice. The, the gloss held out really good on them. But the reason I like this 8150 is because it has different hardeners. So you can adjust the hardener, whereas the 2021 only has a, a, a one hardener for it. So you can change the reducers to adjust for what you're doing. But I like a clear that has different hardeners as well as different reducers. And you can really get it in a sweet spot and get that stuff to flow out and to do what you need it to. So. We're gonna clear this one today with the 2021 with the 98. So I was using the 95, that's what they recommended, but to me, it's doing a little bit of micro popping. So we're gonna go with the very hot 
and try to eliminate that and get this thing to flow out real nice. So I like to have a clear, especially with these glamour clears that you don't pound on. You let the clear flow out on its own and uh, you just put a nice medium coat and then you put another medium coat and this thing will just level out. So that's what we're gonna use on this one and see what we get for results. So let's do it. So that's one coat and uh, on that first coat, I kind of went medium, I didn't pound it on. And we'll let that tack up for about eight minutes. And then I'm gonna go in there and put a nice wet coat on it. So I'll show it to you guys at the end and then we're gonna bake it and we're gonna pull it out and look at it and make sure that we have the right gloss and the right uh, look that we're going for with no micro pop or any issues. So. Let's go ahead and put the second coat on and see what we get. Alright guys, so far it looks good and you guys know that when you get pop, it's usually on the flat panel. So we're going to check this bumper and the trunk when we pull it out here and you guys can see in here it looks good and usually you can't even see the micro pop I'm talking about inside the booth. It's very, very small but once you get it out in the fluorescence is where you can see it. So we're going to pull these parts out here and we're going to check the trunk and the tops of these bumper here that's flat and make sure we don't have any micro pop. That way we'll know if that 98 helped us out with the uh, micro pop we have. So far it looks good. This is the trunk lid. So let's pull it out and check it out. And I don't see any on this here yet. So I think that, that 98 uh, fixed our problem we had with that micro pop. You can only see it in the fluorescent lighting. And uh, so far this looks good. Let's check out the trunk. And this is the trunk lid, so I don't see it on this either. So it looks like we might have uh, got our fix for that uh, 2021, so. All right, so that's that clear, the 2021 with the 98 reducer, the very hot reducer. And we use the DV1 with the C1 cap, and that has a 1.4 head on it, so. We're getting this clear dialed in and uh, we're trying to do our best with it. So we're definitely testing out different guns, different reducers, and I'm hoping to try out some of the 8152 here soon. So stay tuned to the next one.